18 years with ALS and still communicating. The way we communicate with others and with ourselves ultimately determines the quality of our lives. My name is Biwa Baumann Jebesen. Before I was diagnosed with ALS at the age of 44, I was a hard-working man in the flower business. I had long work days and I didn't find it strange that I sometimes felt tired. The cause of this tiredness turned out to be ALS. It was a horrible shock, especially since only a couple of years earlier I had met the wonderful woman who I am married to, namely Utah. Our future had collapsed, but after a while we started to look forward. Against all odds, it turned out that we were able to find joy in this new life. Here's my voice. I'm calling a colleague from the Greek island, Lesbos. Here's my voice after two years with ALS. It's impossible to understand and it sounds horrible, but at least I look good. Only my helpers could understand me, so the first communication aid had to be introduced. A letterboard is completely indispensable when you've lost your voice. It runs cheap and can be used anywhere. It's pretty simple. The letterboard is based on simple principles. The alphabet is divided into five groups numbered one to five. Let's spell the name Biwa. First, A, B. First, second, G, H, I. First, second, third, M, N, O, P, Q, R. First, second, G. First, A, B, C, D, E. And finally, first, second, third, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Can be used at the beach. Here, Yuta is using the principles of the letterboard. Viewer signals by looking up whenever Yuta gets the right letter. In this way, they can have a conversation. And on the terrace. First A B C D first N G H I D first N tredje M N O P Q R first A B C D E. Vil du dreje slet? Ja, her og med. Ja. Er det nok? Ja. Okay. And in the bedroom. And at parties. Yeah, I think it's the best. Yeah, I think it's the best. Yeah, I think it's the best. First, second, third, M, N, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, U, C, B, U, O, not. First, A, first, second, third, fourth, at. We have not got at. First, second, third, fourth, S, first, A, B, C, D, E. We have not got at C. Susie, are you? Is it that? Yeah. Susie and Leo are a kinky couple who performed 25 years in a row at a dodgy bar in my hometown, Skane. I've seen them about a million times. Oh, sweet memories from my wild youth. The eye control computer is God's gift for people with ALS.
Det er mit vindue til verden. Uden kvik langs havde jeg intet selvstændigt liv. I'm using a third generation version of quick glance and there have been significant improvements since I first got it in 98. My pattern of communication before and after ALS. Da jeg handlede med blomster, talte jeg hele tiden telefonen og snakkede med folk. Hele livet har jeg kommunikeret. Som person med ALS har jeg fortsat med at kommunikere. Siden jeg fik denne computer for ni år siden, har jeg skrevet over 10.000 mails, skrevet breve og artikler og meget andet. At kommunikere er blevet min kæphest. Here's what some of my ALS friends have to say about the importance of communication. Uden den, så ved jeg, det er ikke, hvor jeg har været i dag. Since Lars has a weak voice, his assistant Marianne functions as an interpreter. Da jeg mistede stemmen, var vi nødt til at finde på en løsning, så jeg kunne kommunikere med min datter, som ikke kan læse. Løsningen var en computer med et taleprogram, som jeg har haft stor glæde af. For mig betyder det alt. Hvis jeg ikke kan udtrykke mine tanker og følelser, kan det hele være lige meget. The computer is a wonderful tool. It has given my friend and neighbor, Arne Lykke Larsen, the possibility to continue working. Arne Lykke Larsen is 49 years old and a highly regarded professor in theoretical high energy physics at the Southern University of Denmark. He was diagnosed ALS in 2000 and is completely paralyzed and unable to speak. Arne uses Toby, a gaze control communication system with a speech synthesizer. The laptop is mounted on his wheelchair and Arne can control the movement of the cursor by moving his eyes. Utah and the importance of communication. I've gotten used to living the way we do. I've gotten used to having a different kind of communication, having to communicate using the eyes. And that is probably what is most noticeable, the biggest difference. That's the communication. Of course we're able to talk using the letterboard, but the option of using the computer is irreplaceable. The contact viewer has to the outside world and everything he manages to write there is completely immeasurable. It means so much. It gives viewer the independence from others which is so important. Of course he needs help getting to the computer, but once he's there he's able to write whatever he wants without anyone else hearing it. This means he's also able to write me a letter without having anyone else involved, so it can stay just between him and me. When we're alone, he can spell it, of course. But when he's at the computer, he's alone with his own thoughts and is able to write a longer letter if he wants. In that way, he has a greater opportunity to say a lot of things. The two things supplement each other. And we would not want to be without the computer, because Spiewer gets to write so much more than he would be able to without it. Obviously, we've lost Spiewer's voice. That's a loss for both of us. A voice is a part of a person's identity, so there's definitely been a loss. When Biwa wants to say something to me, he's unable to emphasize his words with a tone or a sound. If he's angry, he can't put on an angry tone, and if he wants to say something loving, he can't do it in a loving tone. I can always see the spark in Biwa's eyes. Eyes can generally say a lot. Fortunately, Biwa still has some of his facial expressions left and is able to smile, for which I am deeply grateful. So with his expressions and his eyes, sometimes he is practically able to embrace me, I think. So he can still say a lot, even without speech. This has become our life, our lifestyle in fact. Living with ALS is actually a lifestyle, I would say. I think it's hard to say how it would have been without ALS. I have a hard time imagining that. Software exists in many versions. For example, SonoKey, as shown here.
It is of crucial importance to me to have control over my situation. Thanks to the computer, I still have that. Also, it's important to have the opportunity to affect society through movies and articles. It makes me feel like a living part of society. This is John Pauline Hansen, Associated Professor, Psychologist, PhD at the IT University of Copenhagen. Along with his staff, John has developed a writing system called Gaze Talk. Og der har vi designet Gaze Talk systemet sådan at man allerede på det tidspunkt kan begynde at bruge det ved hjælp af en mus eller med et almindeligt tastatur, simpelthen som en måde at snakke med omgivelserne på. Så vil man opleve, at man kan miste føreligheden i, i hænderne og fingrene, men stadigvæk måske bevæge sit hoved. Og der kan man så bruge en hovedmus på gæstorket. Der skal man så flytte kørseren hen på en af knapperne og holde den der i en periode, og så vil man have aktiveret den knap. In my opinion, Gaze Talk is the world's best eye-controlled writing program. On top of that, it's free. You can download it here. To whom do I communicate? Here is a cavalcade of my Facebook statuses. I want to show my ALS colleagues and my Facebook friends that those of us who have ALS live our lives with as much joy as everyone else. We just do it under slightly different conditions. I am also speaking to newspaper readers. Here is a cavalcade of the newspaper articles I have written or contributed to. Of course, I've also been an actor. Here's a cavalcade of my roles. The future. Who knows? I've taken a small step into the unknown. Along with the young genius Juris Klonovs, I'm working to develop a communication system based on brain waves. This is not about mind reading, thank God, but efforts to get brain activity to trigger a mouse click. I owe my occupational therapist with a Master of Rehabilitation, Hanne Bick, a big thank you for her support over many years. She often uses this quote. If I was robbed of all of my abilities except for one, I would choose to keep the strength of communication, for with that I would soon regain the rest.
Oh, oh, oh.